Hello, this is Greg Quick. Today we're going to talk about a three-man game. We're going to talk about a pick, a penetrator, and a wrapper. As you can see, we're starting out of a, a 30 look with a defensive end here, the linebacker, and our nose. The defensive end is going to be our wrapper. The linebacker will be the pick, and we'll get a penetrator out of our nose. And we'll talk through each of those techniques and demonstrate their uh, influence on the success of this stunt. But you can see from the beginning, we're going to end up catching the zone side. And we're going to force, you can see the wide alignment and the, the success previously. One of the, this is the sack leader in the history of the franchise. So this tackle is very cognizant of his edge rush. This is one of the most physical dominant players in the league at the time. And we always shimmy with our inside foot up in a pressure from a linebacker. So he'll begin to shimmy and draw the attention because they're anticipating a common stunt where we wrap, we bring the nose across, we bring a linebacker, and it's an inside game. But here it's going to be an outside wrap inside off of our inside game that we've run previously. So the whole idea is, is we're going to try and get this linebacker and nose to occupy these three, creating an inside rush lane for the wrapper. To do so, we need to get some drift out of these linemen. We need them to widen to create that crease inside. We're running a complementary game to the other side that will occupy those two defender, two uh, offensive linemen and the back. So the... Uh, the nose is the penetrator. We'd like him to get to the hip, the backside hip of the guard. So he's going to try and penetrate and get vertical here. Now, in doing so, he really needs to put pressure on this center. He needs to make sure the center stays occupied with him. So he's going to be his job is to penetrate first occupying the center and we'll get a delay pick off of that if he's vertical and aggressive the other thing is we need to get him vertical to create the downhill wrap for the defensive end so this penetrator is pushing the los back to allow that waterfall of the defensive end if we can't get that waterfall that downward arc of the wrapper, the stunt won't be successful. So we need this penetrator to get vertical while occupying the center and not allowing the guard to pass this thing back. So that's what we're looking for out of the nose guard there. The linebacker's job, obviously they are very aware. Look at the eyes right now, here and here. We have already got the attention of both those offensive linemen, which is good. But we also know he is very aware of number seven. So let's just run it for a short distance here and see our initial reactions. So we shimmy up. We always like to gallop or shimmy with the inside foot up. It allows us to, to uh, handle our wraps and also to perform when we're a pick player or a penetrator in the stunt game as well. So he's, just as he always does, his body posture is that he's going to be running that inside wrap, that he'll be the wrapper or he'll be the penetrator and the other linebacker will be wrapping, which is a popular stunt for this defense. Here he comes, and now you can see right where he's headed, he occupies, and then he's headed right for the V of the neck. That's an excellent, right there is where he was headed, right there. And you can see already that we have got these three offensive linemen occupied by those two hats. So we've accomplished. As soon as that guard, see his feet, and as soon as that center turned his feet to the sideline, we won. As soon as that linebacker hit the V of the neck of that offensive tackle, we won. So you can see already the rush lane for the wrapping defensive end has already been created. 
Let's take that back and look at it again. This is a great vantage point. The other is, is on the snap, you can see that we're getting good vertical rush out of all these people. Now, I really believe the end could have even done a better job of selling this. But because of the collision, the explosion. So our linebacker who's going is going to get the pick, and then he's going to ricochet off of that into a controlling outside rush lane. We're trying to get vertical here, but we got to make sure that we occupy that center and lean into it. Let's watch that nose now. We saw the linebacker. Let's see the nose as he comes off. You're going to see right here, boom. You see him leaning right here. He turns. We all talked about getting skinny. So he's right for the hip of the guard, right where it needs to be. Good track. And look at the center having to lean on him. So I'm creating enough pressure here that the center has to lean. And again, look at these feet of these offensive linemen. They've turned him to the boundary. As soon as they've done that, we win. You can see extension here. He's putting pressure. And then we're going to create this explosion here in the V of the neck and the ricochet. He's going to try, he's like to get a little bit more penetration. He does get bounced a little bit front side, but that actually opens up the doorway, the portal here for the wrapping D end who wants to be running downhill the whole time with this be result being a sack. So let's look one more time. Okay, we shimmied up. Boom. So. You can see that guard actually, even though the linebacker's path is outside, he said a little bit inside. And when he goes to pass it, he ends up on his backside. The nose gets bumped a little bit front side, but he leaned enough right here that he gets the center. Again, his feet are turned. So the, the wrapping DN now is going to be able to beat that. So if we continue, you can see he's got it beat. All he's got to do is chop or rip, and he's right in the quarterback, right there. Couldn't be executed better. Let's take one more look. We've got the penetrator going to the hip of the guard. Trying to get to the hip of the guard and penetrate. Does not want to get bounced. He wants to occupy the center. We're going to get, we're going to attack the V of the neck in the pick right here, the V of the neck, and he's going to bounce to be the controlling outside rusher. His alignment, his posture gets the attention of the tackle, and then he's going to wrap downhill to the quarterback. Pick, ricochet, penetrate. Make sure we lean and occupy the center. Widen the tackle so we can get some drift here and here. And that drift is going to open up that rush lane for the wrapper. Again, let's take it from the top, see what it looks like. Here they come. So we're getting the penetration. We got the center. We got three on two. Right here again, you can see we've got these three occupied by those two actively blocking here actively blocking here coming here we're going to get the collision we want in the ricochet he gets bounced a little bit but again as soon as we turn these toes we're winners and the other thing that happens is he does a good job running downhill and wrapping to the quarterback look at that right there everything says we should win everybody on the front side is occupied with the front side uh, stunt or faint. One more time. Penetrator occupies the center. Center turns his toes. We should win. Linebackers threatening the B gap, draws the attention of the guard. Guard turns his toes. It's going to be hard for him to turn and pass off. The good thing is the collision and the force of the linebacker driving to the V of the neck and then ricocheting with power into a controlling outside rush lane actually 
tumbles the guard, and he maintains that outside positioning so there was no escape for the quarterback. And because we got three on two, the wrapping the end, running downhill, the center cannot recover. If he had wrapped flat, looping manner, center probably could have come off. Here he wraps, boom, we get the sack. One last time at speed, just so we can see it. Penetrator center. Good. Gets bounced a little bit at the end. He'd like to lean and stay there. Linebacker does a great job via the neck of the tackle and then ricochets into a controlling rush lane. And the DN did a good job of wrapping and staying tight downhill. So they could not recover. He ends up with the sack. Well, I hope I enjoyed talking with you today. I hope this was beneficial to you. You have a great day. I look forward to the next time we have a chance to visit.